In this video, you will learn how to replace a line card in the Cisco NCS 5500 chassis while the router is operational. Ensure that these tools and equipment are ready. Follow these safety instructions before you begin. Warning. Blank faceplates and cover panels serve three important functions. They prevent exposure to hazardous voltages and currents inside the chassis. They contain electromagnetic interference, EMI, that might disrupt other equipment. And they direct the flow of cooling air through the chassis. Do not operate the system unless all cards, faceplates, front covers, and rear covers are in place. Hazardous voltage or energy is present on the backplane when the system is operating. Use caution when servicing. Invisible laser radiation may be emitted from disconnected fibers or connectors. Do not stare into beams or view directly with optical instruments. To prevent loss of packets during operations, shut down the line card. Run the command HW hyphen module location location name shutdown. Run this command in admin mode. Verify that the line card LED for the slot turns off and the card is in the powered off state. To remove the faulty line card, rotate each of the two ejector levers away from the center of the chassis. The levers unlock themselves from the brackets on the side of the chassis. Pull the lever to slide the module out of the chassis about two inches from the chassis. Use one hand to hold the front of the module. Place the other hand under the module to support its weight. Pull the module out of the chassis and set it on an anti-static surface or inside an anti-static bag. To install a line card, rotate the end of each of the two ejector levers away from the center of the chassis. Hold the front of the module with one hand and place your other hand under the module to support it. Align the back of the module to the guides in the open line card slot and slide the module all the way into the slot. When the module is completely inserted, it protrudes out by 0.25 inches in front of the chassis. Warning: Do not apply excessive pressure. Rotate the ends of the two levers toward the center of the chassis. Ensure that the other ends of the lever engages such that the module is fully seated onto the midplane of the chassis. Attach each interface cable to the appropriate port on the line card. Use the label on each cable to determine which port each cable attaches to. Verify that the status LED blinks in amber color, then turns to solid amber color, and later turns to green color. For each connected port, the port LED turns on and becomes green or amber. For more information, Refer to the Hardware Installation Guide for Cisco NCS 5500 Series Routers.